Um, but what I want to do right now is go to this asset folder, go to where our first person arms is. And this is strictly for the future. We're not doing anything with this yet, but I know we will need it. Uh, first, we're going to set up some movement stuff before we actually use it, but I want to get it set up now. So I'm going to go to animation. I'm going to make an IK rig and we're going to use this naked Godric rig here. So I'm going to say IK underscore FP arms because this is going to be our rig that we're going to use for the first person arms. And then I also want to create another retargeter and we're going to use the IK is basically what this axis is which rig do we want to copy animations from? And it's not just anim animations. We can copy animation blueprints, animation poses, anything dealing with animations we can copy from this rig. And we want to select the IK mannequin rig. This is the UE5 rig. So this is IK underscore FP. And I'm going to say retarget. So this is what we're going to use to retarget the current animation blueprint to the, our first person rig here. So let's double click inside of here. And we need to set up our chains here. I don't know if you guys ever done this before, but it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna right click on this root. And I'm gonna set this at, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna right click on this pelvis and set it as the retarget root. And then I'm also gonna add a new solver. I'm gonna add a full body solver. Then I'm gonna right click on that pelvis again and set for the root bone on the selected solver. So that will set the root bone as this, uh, set, the, set the root bone for the solver as the pelvis. Now we just want to go ahead and set up our different uh, chains here. So I want to grab the clavicle L, then I want to control click the pinky and then shift click all the way down to the thumb. And then I also want to control click the clavicle R and then control click the ring and then shift click all the way down to the pinky. And then we want to right click and say new retarget chain from selected bones. This will allow us to add a chain for all these bones. So I'm going to call this left clavicle. Hit OK. And this is going to be left pinky. Don't worry about the order of these things. Only thing that matters is the data. So left ring left middle, left index, and left thumb. Now, for the right side, you pretty much do the same thing. So I'm going to just fast forward past this. OK, and your chain list should look a little bit something like this so far. So let's keep on going. We need to add a couple more chains here. We need to add a chain for the twist bone. So I'm going to grab this up arm twist and I'm going to grab this lower arm twist here. Uh, yeah, the lower arm first person twist. And we also want to grab the one on the right side. So actually, this is these are the ones we want. We want the lower arm twist and the upper arm twist. And then same thing for the left side. We want the lower arm twist and the upper arm twist for the left side. And then we can right click on those and new retarget chain uh, from bones, so selected bones. And then it's pretty much the same thing. I'm going to show you the name and structure, though. So for this one, we want to say left lower lower arm and use a camel case lower arm twist 01. And then for the left side, uh, oh, and I think I typed that wrong, but we can always fix it. So right upper arm twist. Oh, one. Yeah, I definitely uh, uh, type left for R. So I'm going to call this left upper arm twist. I'm going to just say O2 so that it doesn't geek out on itself. And I'm going to call this uh, left upper arm twist uh, O1. OK, so we you know, just need to fix these there. So I got left upper arm twist O1 for the lower arm twist right. So I need to go ahead and call this uh, right lower arm twist and then come over here. We name this left upper arm twist twice. So 
just so it didn't geek out on itself. So I'm gonna say left lower arm twist, call this 01, and then boom, we got everything that we need there. So now we pretty much got uh, just about everything set up. Uh, we Technically, we don't really care about the spine or the head or anything because the only thing that we're gonna be moving is the arms. The last thing we need is the arm chain for the IK. So we need the upper arm L all the way down to the hand L. And then we need the upper arm R all the way down to the hand R. Then right click, new retarget from, from selected bones. And I'm gonna call this left arm. I'm gonna call this right arm. Okay, and now we can keep on going. So with this hand R selected, I wanna right click on it and say new IK go. That'll set an IK go for this solver. I'm gonna come to the settings here. I'm gonna set this pull chain to zero. We wanna do that same thing for the left arm, so, or the left hand. So I'm gonna right click, new IK go, come down to the settings and set the pull chain to zero. And now we want to click on this left clavicle, control click on this lower left arm, and then control click on the right clavicle and the lower left arm, I mean the, the lower right arm, and then right click and say add settings to selected bone. So these settings are how Unreal sets up uh, by default inside of the UE4, so I figured I'd use the same, uh, the same settings. So for the lower arm settings, we want to say use preferred angles and then set the Z value to 90. And then for the clavicle R, we just want to set the rotation stiffness to one. And it's the same exact settings for both sides. So lower arm uses the preferred angles and it has a Z value of 90. And the clavicle always uses a rotation stiffness of one. And then finally for the pelvis, let's add settings for this as well and then we can go ahead and set the rotation stiffness to one and that my friends is going to set up oops one one missing thing we need to come to where it says left arm and we need to set the ik go to the proper hand uh goal so left arm is hand l go and right arm is hand r go and that my friends will cover the setup that we need uh, and i'm actually going to do one more thing i'm gonna double click in here i'm gonna set the target ik rig I'm gonna go ahead and set it to our FP arms and let's just see if any of these animations look wonky real quick. See if we might have made a mistake or something. So let's look at jog. Okay, so you see we got the first person variation of these animations, uh, which are which are pretty good if you if you know if you ask me. They're not bad, but they're not really set up for first person view. You see. The, the head is up here and the arms are way down here. So the visuals won't really match up, even though we're, we would be moving the arms up, they'd still be uh, kind of off, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna save this. And that's pretty much everything I want to set up in this video. In the next video, we're gonna get into a lecture about the game playability system. Uh, it's pretty uh, PowerPointy and really like a class type thing. If you know about the game playability system, you can go ahead and skip it. Uh, if not, definitely jump in there and give you a good foundation of what we're going to build off of. So if you guys are ready for that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.